Hey, greetings, friends. This is Jai Dave. This is a very special uh, practice in this video. It's, it's a very powerful Kundalini Yoga practice that was uh, filmed at our annual Life Force Academy immersion that happens every June, early June in Northern California. And uh, of this particular year, this was one of the highlights. It features live music from uh, the incredible Simrit project during the meditation. Uh, the the full ver the full practice is included in our Life Force Academy, which you can access from the link in the video description. Um, but this is an abbreviated version of the practice. If you're brand new to Kundalini Yoga and you've, if you've never tried it before, you might check out our Life Force Academy first. But if you familiar with kundalini yoga and you're a practitioner already uh, then just jump right into this i think you're gonna love it it's very powerful uh, activates life force energy in the body gives the the body and the mind great vitality uh, it it connects you to a deeper level of courage a deeper level of love and generates what the yogis call the radiant body the field of illumination that uh, brings in prosperity uh, that gives you clarity on your sense of mission sense of purpose uh, this is a warrior practice for courage and radiance so enjoy uh, the practice and go to the life force academy for the full experience Starters, come onto your hands and knees. Let's just, yeah. And just a very uh, moderately paced cat cow.
Inhale. And exhale. And come standing. You know Archer pose, Leah? Yeah. So, right foot forward. Good. And your left foot's like at a 30 degree angle. You're going to be meditating to the great warrior mantra of Guru Gobind Singh. Uh, harness your inner energy. directly above the ankle, okay? The back leg is strong, thumbs are out, and you're gazing at the tip of the thumb and into the horizon. It's a fierce gaze. And you're gonna draw back that arrow, and you're gonna put your intent into it, okay? Your penetrative force, and you're gonna inhale, back that arrow and in a moment when you exhale release it into the infinite space exhale relaxa shake your legs up and switch sides Draw back the arrow and put your intent for your life. Hinge forward, inhale. Do 
essence, shake your legs. And come sitting. the nose gaze. Like this. O-shaped mouth, chest breath like a and the hands twist towards you, they close into fists. As they twist away from you, they open up like this. Chest out, arms back.
right back, root lock, spine, tight, claws of the hands, lion's claws, squeeze deep, exhale, switch, concentrate the energy and draw it, squeeze it into the center of the beam. Switch and bring the energy into the Shushimana. Squeeze deep, squeeze deep, deep. Exhale. Tip of the nose, the arms are by the side, elbows are bent, fingers are not touching but not tight. You know this? Yeah. Let the rhythm. Chest open, heart chakra.
stretch the tongue. Exhale. Come on to your back. to your backs. It's a very, it's a, about a two minute relaxation. Chatur Chakravarti is that which is pervading in all four directions. that which is the enjoyer of all four directions. That which is self-illumined and united with all. The destroyer of bad times. And the embodiment of mercy. That which is forever within us. The everlasting giver. The undestroyable power. The mantra removes fear, removes anxiety, removes depression and phobias. It brings victory. It instills courage and fearlessness into the fiber of the person. It gives one sahibi control and mastery of your domain, self-command, self-grace. Whenever you're endangered, chant this mantra. Meditative posture. 